The tongue is a muscle. It is innervated by multiple nerves, which help the tongue do different things, from movement to sensation and taste. So here's the tongue, and here's the tongue in cross-section. The easiest way to help you remember this is to divide the tongue in three parts. The anterior two-thirds, the posterior one-third, and the extreme posterior of the tongue. But for simplicity, we'll just call this part of the tongue the back. Looking at the tongue this way, this is how we will divide it. Each section of the tongue will be innervated by cranial nerves responsible for taste, general sensation, and motor function. So starting at the back of the tongue, think of this region as the area of the vallecula, epiglottis, and pharynx. And even though the pharynx is a little more posterior and inferior, it helps us remember that the X in pharynx reminds us of cranial nerve 10, the vagus nerve. At the back of the tongue, cranial nerve 10 is responsible for taste to this area, also sensation and motor function. Now moving towards the bulk of the tongue, let's talk about taste and sensation first. Moving toward the posterior one-third of the tongue, think P for posterior. Now if you flip the letter P around, it looks like the number 9. And so this portion of the tongue is innervated by cranial nerve 9, the glossopharyngeal nerve. Cranial nerve 9 is responsible for both general sensation and taste in this area. In the anterior two-thirds of the tongue, think A for anterior. Flipping the letter A in another direction makes it look like the letter V. And taking the numbers 2 and 3 from two-thirds and moving them here shows us that taste to the anterior two-thirds of the tongue is relayed by cranial nerve 7, the facial nerve. General sensation in the area is mediated by the third branch of cranial nerve 5, which is the mandibular branch of the trigeminal nerve. So that's sensation, but regarding motor function to the tongue, let's add the sensory and taste cranial nerves of the anterior portion of the tongue. So that would be 7 plus 5, which would equal 12. Remember cranial nerve 12 is the hypoglossal nerve responsible for movement of the tongue. 